Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to build our own internet based walkie talkie telephony Android app which will use Firebase real time database to interact. So, let me first show you the demo of the app. So, say for example, we build such a kind of app which starts and it has a start and play audio button. Actually, it should not be a start uh, recording button, but nevertheless, it should be only start and stop. Okay. And I have installed a similar app on my uh, real phone, which is not, of course, visible in this screen. But uh, let's start. start, 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 start. So I'm not sure. Uh, so there was double sound. Uh, let me try once again. Hello. 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 Uh, this uh, is the Hello. 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 Yeah. So I, I'm not sure if you are uh, able to. Uh, hear it but it comes from the both the device okay so anyway uh, my focus in this is to show you how you can quickly build this particular kind of app uh, here and the steps are pretty much simple and straightforward so step number one is uh, definitely to set up the firebase uh, uh, setup so first let's start with that so for that go to your uh, firebase console and go to any of the projects and over here in the project overview uh, go and add an app first step here you will get an option to choose which particular platform you want to add for so this is for android so we will use android and here the package name will be uh, nothing but the this first one okay so just copy paste here this one's control c and go back and control v you can name <coughs> well, uh, okay so since i've already created so i'll just uh, for namesake i'm giving it but use this package name should exactly match what you have already uh, given over here uh, in the uh, while developing this app Name you can give anything, say for example, copy, copy, Android app. For SHA1, what you can do is you can just go here and in this little uh, go to this task and over here just type signing report. Yeah, this one and just double click this, it will execute and it will give you the uh, SHA1 uh, here and just control C and then go back and just paste it over here then just register the app it may take a while and after this is registered it will give you a json file which you have to download so just download this file and then place it in this particular uh, place so let me go back to my android environment and change this to project mode if it's not there which is easy to understand and inside the app at this level just copy paste that file json file whatever you got after downloading from here the next step will be to add the Firebase SDK. So for that, most likely you'll be also doing the Kotlin DSL uh, uh, file. So over here, you have to do add for both root level and the uh, model level Gradle file. So at root level, just copy this line and go to your folder structure again. You can do it in this also. So root level will be this particular Gradle file. Uh, this one builder get a file or otherwise if you are more convenient in the Android uh, this structure You can come here and if you expand this so here you will see two get files This is the root level which is this one and this is the project level which is the other one okay, let me minimize this for now And I don't think I need this anymore. Yeah, okay And in this root level uh, so Just copy paste this line what you got from there, okay? And once you have it, then uh, for the other one, for the module level, you have to put these two lines. So first line will be anywhere there, uh, com.android application. I don't know why they give it. It's just confusing. So don't repeat that. And just copy the second line, which is basically for the Google services. Okay. So just copy this part. And once done that, then you have to just import this part. Just copy this. And down below, you can put it here. Okay. So this should be good enough. I have put this also, but that's not required. Anyway, I'll put the complete code in my uh, portal. You can look at over there also. Okay. So once uh, get a file is there, you have to click on sync now. And it may take a while. Then uh, let me get into the coding part now quickly. So in coding, it's pretty much simple and straightforward. In manifest file, you have to ask for a few permissions from the users, which is record audio and internet. So just add these two lines. And then let's jump to the layout first. Okay. So layout is pretty much simple. If I go to this uh, text xml form so it's a linear layout uh, you can do it in relative layout or constant layout as well it doesn't matter there are three buttons all the two are visible because one of them is by default gone which is basically the stop button okay so here probably i'll change the text over here it doesn't looks good a start and a stop so let me do one thing 
uh, I'll just go here and instead of recording, I'll just do stop. Okay, and same thing for a start. Yeah, perfect. And this for play. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So that's all. And if I go back here, yeah. So this is button one and button. Uh, 2 is a stop which will come when uh, uh, this is right now gone but otherwise it will come here if uh, we toggle between a start and a stop and the third button is play button okay so that's all uh, in terms of layout now I will quickly jump to the java code so java code uh, so initially we are defining a few of the class variables like buttons uh, audio record is what we need audio track and uh, to track whether it's recording or not whether a start button is on or off uh, that's all and then database for uh, accessing our uh, this uh, Firebase database okay so and uh, there are of course few of these uh, audio related uh, parameters so first let's un understand how we'll do the database referencing here okay so this variable once we create and make sure you have done the sync now after adding all these dependencies in the Gradle file uh, because then only you will be able to find the related uh, respective uh, paths uh, available uh, to, for import in the Java code. So this all imports you have to do for this particular things to work. Anyway, let me proceed. So here we will have to define the reference over here. So if I go back to my uh, here, so once you have done all this import and click next and then uh, it will get created. Okay, so I will just uh, cancel this and go back here. So this is the previous one which I added. This is the new one which I added. I don't think I need this. I can delete this. This is one. So this is the one which is actually working for me. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You can add n number of apps here. And after that, if you go here, uh, expand it a little bit, you will get something called real-time database. If you don't get in shortcuts, you should be able to get here in some way in the uh, build uh, under the build. Click on this real-time database and over here. Uh, yeah. So you have to create a node called audio stream so how you can do it is just click on here and type something say for example audio stream oh, one i'm not typing one uh, to make it keep it different than first one and that's also why audio stream so if i go back to my java code and here if you see this is the exact path which should be which should match here okay so i don't think i need this but still i'll keep it here just for uh, reference okay uh, one thing which is important uh, normally the rules should be uh, uh, false here so that uh, it's not publicly available but for this demo I've just kept it true so it will be publicly available for you to see but otherwise it will not be uh, it should not be available and you should authenticate it uh, for the app which is trying to access but for simplicity just I have changed the rules to true or you can also change it to true uh, and uh, read and write and it will work seamlessly for now okay so once done that so now let me go back to the java code so this is about the database okay no yeah so now let me complete other parts so in the own create method these all things you will get by default anywhere it doesn't matter so first and foremost thing so this is a, my part of the code so first and foremost what you have to do is you have to ask for the permission at least the record audio permission internet is by default given the moment you define it in in a manifest file that's sufficient enough uh, so for record audio you have to ask it uh, explicitly in the uh, in the java code from the user then apart from that uh, we will define a variable called audio track which will keep a track of the audio whatever we are going to play and all and then uh, we are of course the buttons we are the local variables we are initializing here for all the buttons which we had in the layout so the three buttons which we had here okay and then audio database part i, I need to explain uh, what we have to do then there are uh, yeah, so here we are setting the on click listeners to this button. So what happens when the start button is clicked, a stop button is clicked, and play button is clicked. So there are different matters which will get called. These are the three matters which will go one by one. And but before that, let me just complete this on create part. So and in the last part in on create is whenever in this uh, database this add value listener basically there is some value which changes in all on data change. So this matter will get called. And over here what we are doing is we are doing nothing much but we are updating the audio track which we have defined here as a variable and we are writing whatever we are getting the data from this uh, database in the snapshot we are getting the encoded audio we are decoding it using this 
decoder uh, logic and decoded audio is then being written to, written to this audio track. So the only task left after writing is to play it. So that will do it in this particular on click uh, method. Okay. Uh, and if it's cancelled, then uh, it will just display something uh, failed to read this is, uh, audio and that's all. So that's all. Now let me go one by one to through these three methods or start, or stop, and play audio. So let me first do very quickly this play audio, which is the simple one. So I can either press Ctrl B over here to jump to the method, or you can navigate uh, manually also. Over here is just one of the code, which is basically to play the audio. I think we don't need a separate method altogether. We can always put it in the on create also. Uh, because by default it should play whenever there is any trick on that but to give a better uh, control uh, and avoid any kind of noise at the start of that I have kept it as a split method over here yeah no okay I don't think I need this I was experimenting something but this is not required anyway <coughs> so there are two methods a stop and a start so let me just quickly first come to the start part so in the start recording basically it's not recording it's a start playing a start uh, the audio uh, part what it will do is it will first check whether we have the permission or not if not then it will just return and uh, exit by printing something that we don't have the required uh, permissions okay, permission spelling is wrong i think one m is missing yeah and then <coughs> once that is done then uh, we can have a uh, uh, our this audio record part which is basically audio record uh, you, which uses a uh, media recorder so if you recall this we created as a class variable on the top over here and now we are initializing it okay over here and once that is done uh, this is basically to cancel noise or any kind of echo and all so basically to make the sound uh, much more smooth over here okay so once that's done uh, what we can do further is we can uh, uh, update our this audio recorder with, uh, yeah it will start the recording and it will also set is recording uh, because we will be checking that in the loop until it's recording it will keep on recording and sending the data to this particular database over here so we'll see the demo uh, shortly and uh, so and uh, once uh, and of course it will toggle the switch uh, buttons uh, the start button visibility will be gone and the stop button visibility will be visible uh, so that uh, the stop button can be pressed uh, and uh, it can be stopped this also helps <coughs> to avoid a uh, double uh, running of this particular method because uh, at any point of time only one time the thread will run over here and in this separate thread uh, where it will uh, keep on recording uh, it will just uh, get the audio record in the read and then it will encode it uh, in a string format using the same uh, logic and it will set it in the this particular database reference set value this will set it over here and it will go and set over here as a continuous stream and in the stop recording it will do nothing much but it will just stop everything it will uh, set the variable as false first and foremost it will stop this record it will stop <coughs> it will release the record thing and all and everything it will just stop simple it will not do anything with the database the database reference will set the value only in a loop over here but it will not do anything over here and uh, and to play anyway explain so what it will do is it will just uh, play whatever the audio track was created in the on grid method over here and uh, yeah this this anyway gets the value from the database snapshot whenever the data is in so that's all uh, so let's quickly uh, play again uh, or see the demo again so this time i'll also show you how the database value changes so i've started the uh, okay uh, so if you i don't know if you notice the value change let me do it once again okay 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 so the value can be changed that's because uh, this is but uh, I was supposed to surprise all of you that it was supposed to be I will have to stop it but now it is running a condition you can discard it first yeah I don't know if it was audible but I will just repeat so there was echo which was supposed to be surprised I think to a certain extent it is doing it but yeah it could have done a better job on that and it was writing continuously because of in the while loop it will keep writing unless we press the stop button to make it false so that's all i hope this video is useful to you i wanted to show you a very quick way uh, to create your own uh, telephony app which works on our internet and interacts the data using fibers real-time database so i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment system below and if you like this video then please subscribe to myself thank you and have a nice day. bye